nitwa Jemmy ngafite imyaka 14 aba mba mu gihugu cy'u Rwanda mu babaro wanje nakera kuva ndi umwana data na mama batandukanye ndi umwana muto nabagore ba papa bamfata nabi nibigeze bamwe Ram Girango, Sange Mam Conjeze on Fite in Yaka Chuminine Nasanze, Monsumne, Mugabo, Narinzi. ze iwe fata ku ngufu arangumana ahubwo azana undi undi mugabo nawe aransambanya ariko yanga ku kuge ngo mavi basigambuje yaka inzu yose irafata nange ndashya ndi mu bitaro nazi igihe nagereye Yuma muganga ya yavuze ko bagiye kunca amaguru Ndababara cyane numva birutwa no naho naba narahiriye muri iyo nzu when you think of violence in Rwanda, you may think about the genocide which took place 20 years ago. But today there's a hidden plague of everyday violence, sexual assault against children. This violence is as much a part of everyday life uh, as is hunger or illness or lack of access to quality education, but it's much harder to see. The first time I met Jamie, she was in the hospital. She was really hopeless. She couldn't even imagine how she would live the whole life by people carrying her. The first thing IGM did, we provide the safe place for her. IGM Indiana, Ahanu, Abana, Bafite, Ubumuga, Bonye Kohari, Abandivan, Bafite, Ubumuga, Bafitu Muganganji, Nemera Kuhaguma. IGM ensured that Jamie's emergency medical needs were met and that she received the trauma counseling that she needed to recover. IGM worked with the police to ensure that the two men who had abused her were arrested and suffered the consequences of the law. And IGM worked to place Jamie in a rehabilitation center where she can learn to walk again. I've really seen God working in Jamie's life. I've seen her life being transformed. <laughs> Ndashima imana ko ica inzira yo itari 